What is going on everyone? Welcome to the Manga Madhouse, a channel where I, Darian, take you through my manga collection journey. We talk about manga, we talk about collecting manga, we talk about manga reviews, all kinds of things like that. So if you're interested in that, make sure you go ahead and hit the subscribe button down below and become a part of the Mani Acts. Now, if you cannot tell by the thumbnail title of this video, first off, I would like to say Happy New Year. I'm this is my first video I'm recording at the year 2024, so hopefully everybody had a good new year. And with that being said, Based on the thumbnail of this video, if you cannot tell by the thumbnail title, we are going to be talking about my manga collection goals for the year of 2024. So if you don't know, if you're new to the channel or maybe just didn't see this video, I think I've mentioned this a couple of times, but last year I kind of just was very new to the community. I was just kind of getting manga I was familiar with. Every now and then I get a recommendation. I was like, oh, that sounds like a good idea. That sounds like something I'll be interested in. So I would go ahead and purchase that or read that. But this year I'm going to be, I'm also going to still take on recommendations. I'm still going to listen to people. I'm still going to watch videos. And if someone says recommend, if someone recommends a manga, I'm definitely going to check it out. But I'm also on my end going to be more intentional with kind of what I'm reading, what I'm buying uh, just because of the fact that I feel as though it feels good at the end of the year if I can look back and be like wow I did this this and this and this is what I set out to do and I did those things so that's kind of just going to be my big focus of this year once again I'll still be taking recommendations I'll still be listening out for new manga that I've never heard of before or, or watched if it's anime before but I'm just going to be a little more intentional and with that being said I will go ahead and start with my list. So I have my phone here. Uh, just I'm going to be reading off my list. I have five things that I, I am looking forward to doing uh, this upcoming year. And hopefully y'all can help me achieve that because, you know, none of this will be possible without you. So the very first one is start collecting Vagabond. So I have heard, you know, read Vagabond, read Vagabond, read Vagabond from so many people. And I mean, whether that's a recommendation, whether that's me watching another YouTube video, whether that's telling people I know that, hey, I'm starting to get into manga and people who don't even really read manga like that are like, hey, I've heard that this Vagabond one would be something you would probably be interested in because I heard it's about Samurais and that's kind of really all I know. And that's what they tell me as people who don't even are not even really in the space, not even in the community. And it's been on it's been on my list for a while it's been on it's been something i wanted to read for a very very long time however i do know it is not easy to get all the volumes at kind of at one time it's not as simple as going to well now crunchyroll i was gonna say right stuff but it's not as simple as going to crunchyroll not as simple as going to barnes and noble not as simple as going to books a million and just buying a copy now these places have copies i've seen like even a place like second and charles i've seen them have like volume 12 and i've always just been like oh, i'll get it you know kind of all together and it's just not easy without kind of spending a lot of money on ebay which i actually don't mind doing but i think that takes away some of the fun of collecting if i just buy it all straight up now will that make more sense yeah but is it more fun for the thrill and maybe try to get it at a certain price also, yes. Yeah. So um, my goal is to just start collecting whatever volume I see. If I see a volume in the store, I get it. If I see a decent you know, price on a volume on eBay, I get it. And then eventually, hopefully, have the completion of the series. How long would that take? How difficult is it really? I don't know. I'm not going to sit here and pretend Vagabond is some rare manga because I don't know. But I think it will be fun. With that being said, I am probably not going to read it until I collect all of it. I'm not going to read it online, which most of you already know um, kind of how I feel about online manga. I enjoy it. I thoroughly enjoy it. It's just more so the whole reason I kind of even started this was because a lot of my hobbies, including my job, requires me to look at a screen. So I wanted to do something a little different. And of course, I got into books and then I got into manga. So that's how we ended up here. I don't want to necessarily read it online. If I absolutely have to, if it's like, okay, it's been a year or whatever, a year and a half, whatever the case may be from this point forward, then yeah, I may go ahead and read it because I do believe it's something I'm going to enjoy. But I just think it'll be more fun for y'all to come along with me in the journey of just collecting all the volumes and then finally reading it. And I, I just, I don't know, I feel like I'll get this feeling of like, wow, I did that. So I'm making it a little more difficult for myself but I think in the long run, it'll just be one good content Two, I think it'll just be a thing we can all enjoy together of getting all the volumes and then me eventually reading it. So hopefully you're cool with that. But that's the number one thing on my list for my, my manga collection journey uh, in 2024. Number two 
is, and this is something you kind of saw in my last manga haul, but number two is continue to diversify my collection by reading other genres of manga. So um, I, I looked at my spreadsheet and a lot of it's like adventure and stuff. And I know that a lot of times that certain manga, certain, even we can go to really any medium, books, movies, TV shows, whatever, is kind of action adventure. That's kind of what they say, just because it's a little difficult to kind of hone in the actual you know, genre, and I'm not really too big into subgenres or, you know, anything like that, but I do think they're important. And so looking at my spreadsheet, I saw that that's a lot of what my manga is, is action adventure and stuff. And there's probably some manga in there that I could, if I go and really think about it, I probably could change the genre as it would fit more. Um, like, uh, I, I know for exactly like Mob Psycho, I don't remember exactly what uh, the the gen the genre is as far as when you look online, but I'm telling you it's it's hard. Mob Psycho is one where it's not easy to pick what kind of genre is it it is because it's not your typical shonen action adventure or anything like that. It's it's a little different. It has elements of slice of life. It, it's it's just a lot different to me. It's coming of age. I think that's part of it as well. So we just want to diversify what I'm reading. And in my last manga haul, I did that. I got a lot of stuff that I don't typically kind of read, um, but I'm someone who's very you know your recommendations at me i'm willing and open to all of them so hopefully in the comment section y'all do what you normally do and give me a lot of recommendations because i look forward to it because i do want to expand my horizons i think that it's just important to do so i think you know i'm not going to be the type of person to say i don't like a certain genre without reading it i know someone that like for me i don't like romance movies that doesn't mean i won't like romance manga uh even though you know they're kind of similar but the story the way you tell the story and the way you present the story is different so I feel as though maybe reading a romance manga may be different. I have no idea, but it's something I, I am open and interested to. Of course, that means expanding my collection, but I have no problem with doing that, as you can probably tell if you've been watching this channel. So yeah, that's another thing I wanna do is just kind of diversify what I'm reading. Number three, we have something simple, something straightforward. Uh, number three is read more of my collection. So I actually had a comment today, this morning, of uh, someone asked me, hey, how much of your collection have you actually read? And I know that that's like a thing in the manga community that people just buy manga and don't read. And I kind of say I fell into that this year. I bought a lot of manga. I bought a lot of stuff that I knew I wanted. Once I kind of realized how much I really like the, the medium of reading manga, I kind of just started buying stuff and I didn't take time to read all of it. Now, granted, I read all 250 something chapters of Tokyo Revengers. Um, I am on chapter 123 of Chainsaw Man. Um, I've started Blue Giant. Uh, there's other things I've been reading that I can't think of. I think I finished like ping pong. Uh, so there's just random manga that I've just kind of been reading that kind of has taken away for me uh, really paying attention to my collection even though chainsaw man like i said as far as physical copies i'm caught up blue giant somewhere up there i said i started the boxer actually that's another one i've been reading uh this year which i'll do a video about what i'm reading uh going into this year and just what i'm going to continue to read but the boxer i think i read all three volumes of that and then i read on some more online because that's another one where i'm not going to sit here and just wait uh for the series to continue to come out same with chainsaw man because you know like i said want to read physical copies however if I'm close to the end of a series, I'm just gonna read it. And that's what I did with Chainsaw Man. That's what I'm doing with the boxer. So yeah, I want to just read more of my collection. And, the, and in that comment, I explained when I responded to the person, a lot of my manga that I have, like Naruto, Dragon Ball Z, which you can't really see, My Hero, right here. I have, oh, Mob Psycho is another one I've been reading. So yeah, that's another, another one I completely forgot about. But um. Yeah, I've watched the anime of those thoroughly, often, um, and, I, and that's how I knew I wanted them, but I never really sat back and watched the manga, or read the manga. How different is it? I'm not quite sure, but um, as far as me just choosing not to read them, that's kind of why. It was like, I've seen the, the anime so much that I don't really see, I'm not in a rush, rather, because I got it for a reason, but I'm not in a rush to read all the manga, considering I've seen the anime so many times. But... All that being said, I do want to read more of my collection. As you know, in the last, and that's why in my last haul, I bought so many different, like volume ones and volume twos and volume threes and things like that. A Silent Voice, Blue Lock, Blue of Box, uh, all these different manga. I'm trying to think of something else that I may have got. Zom 100, even though I've seen the anime of that. Uh, uh, Killing Stalking, some of those, like I got those. A lot of these are volumes I probably, I can really, or series rather, I can really get into um, and go ahead and start. So 
And that kind of answers my question as far as diversifying, but also I have a bunch of new series that I can read that I'm not familiar with as far as I've seen some anime or seen, you know, YouTube video explaining the entire series, anything like that. So I think that that's a good point to where if I do want to read my collection, I don't want to read the things I've seen so much in anime. I have a lot to choose from and I will be doing that this year. Um, so yeah, hopefully I think, it, I think it'll work out. My goal as far as the percentage, I think right now I'm close to 15% of my collection read. And like I said, that's not counting the 70 something volumes of Naruto, the over 30 something volume, maybe 40 something volumes between Dragon Ball and Dragon Ball Z, uh, the 20 something volumes of My Hero. I'm trying to think of anything else off the top of my head. I can't really right now, but as it's outside of those i don't know how much of my manga collection i've read if you don't count those but those are that's a huge part of my collection it's stuff i've actively seen so my goal is to like i'm at 15 percent now my goal is to maybe get to around 50 percent uh red uh just for this year and then hopefully next year i can kind of double it it's kind of almost like a compound like hopefully i still can will continue to collect manga this year i'm not going to slow down um but i will hopefully kind of up my reading more and that's something I felt like I didn't really do towards the end of the year last year was read as much uh, because once again I'm reading Chainsaw Man which it you know it only stops at a certain point in the physical copies and then the boxer only stops at a certain point in physical copies ping pong I don't even have physically I just had it on the app and I was on a work trip so I just read it there so it's just those kind of things that stopped me from really attacking my actual physical collection um, so I want to kind of drive back focus to my collection because I do collect to read so I don't collect just the half. So uh, that, that is something that's really big, as, as you can tell, because it's on my list. Number four, and this will also go into kind of what we just talked about, number three. Number four is complete a, what I have, oh, complete reading a classic slash older series. Now, the reason I say it's complete or, or older slash classic is because of the fact that some people may not see Dragon Ball Z as classic manga or whatever the case may be, so I, older. But Basically, it, I mean, it means what it says is that I want to complete an older or classic series, whether that's Dragon Ball, Dragon Ball Z, or Gantz, or Claymore, which Claymore, I've been excited the most to read, but every time I start it, or every time I look at it, I'm like, that's 27 26 volumes. Do I really feel like kind of binging through that right now? Not really, so I don't I don't read it. Um, but I, I want to. Uh, Akira is another one. Do I have all six of the of the deluxe editions of that uh, from the box set? So that's something I could probably read. Like, but it's something. It's, it's one of those series uh, that I want to go ahead and start complete. Like I said, complete an older slash classic series. Um, so let me know which one I should start. I'm leaning, I'm leaning towards Gantz, but I really want to read Claymore. I really want to read Akira. Uh, so just maybe y'all can help me by voting in the comments, or maybe I should put up a poll and say which of these classic series I should I start. Um, Dragon Ball Z can be in that. Dragon Ball can be in that. Um, but I'm leaning towards some of the ones that, like I said, I'm not that familiar with as far as seeing seen an anime before, and like reading Claymore reading uh dragon ball z those that would help by as far as percentage of my collection read because they're 20 something books so it kind of works hand in hand but i'm with this complete a classic i'm not too worried about how it affects my reading percentage so if i read akira yes akira is huge but in my spreadsheet i only have it labeled as six books because in the deluxe you know in the box set it only comes with six is it five? Five or six? It comes with five or six books. So yes, it, in the grand scheme of things, it won't seem like it's a lot, but we all know that looking at those, it's a lot. So I'm not really too head over heels about making sure it fits. I just wanted to complete a classic slash older series. I personally don't care like what series. I just want to do it. Um, so whatever you pick, I'm cool with. Don't feel like you have to pick something that, that uh I would get mad if, you know, let's say you think I would get mad if you don't pick a cure. I'm not. Like, whatever you pick, I'm perfectly cool with. So I'm just looking forward to that. And I say so a lot. I, I need to stop doing it. The last one, and then I have a bonus one, but the last one is start to get a feel for who my favorite mangaka are and learn more about them. So as maybe a few videos ago, I did a video talking about uh, Tatsuki Fujimoto, uh, creator of Chainsaw Man, creator of Look Back, creator of uh, Goodbye Eerie, creator of Fire Punch, and people really enjoyed that video. And I really enjoyed making, I really enjoyed kind of doing the work as far as, yes, uh, for Tatsuki Fujimoto, he has a couple of one shots. So it was cool to read those first and then re start reading Chainsaw Man and kind of see the similarities and kind of how he does his work. 
but I want to do it for others as well. And I call that series Beyond the Spine. I think I originally called it Break the Spine, but I think Beyond the Spine is a lot cooler. So I changed it. I even went back and changed the title. Uh, but I want to do more of those. I'll, now that will include possibly me getting other manga that is recommended that I do not have already. That may be, you know, reading more of some people who are already, I don't know. I have no idea how I'm actually going to approach it. But my goal is to just, I mean, essentially, it just means do more Beyond the Spine videos, but by doing more Beyond the Spine videos, that also would require me to just continue to diversify, as I mentioned earlier, and also just listen out to people, listen for recommendations, and kind of dive into that. It, it's not necessarily reading exactly what I may have, because I may not have uh, mangaka who have just this abundance of work. You know what I mean? And maybe this is their hit series. Everything else is kind of okay. Uh, so maybe, you know, I want to read someone who has two or three series that are pretty good. I don't know. We'll figure that out as we get there. But that's kind of my goal is just to be more familiar with the mangaka themselves outside of just Dragon Ball or Naruto or whatever the case may be. Uh, it's similar to just like learning directors of your favorite movies and kind of learning their styles. That's my whole point of having that on my list is just I want to feel a connection to the mangaka and as I read more of their works it's like oh okay this is what they like to do and this is okay this is how they're evolving. That's just kind of how I want to approach it. And I understand that some of that may require me to read stuff online. Once again I'm not completely against reading stuff online. I will sacrifice my you know physical try to read as much physical copies as I can in order to build this connection with these creators. I'm, I'm more than willing to do that. So if you could, once again, if you got any recommendations, please let me know. The final thing is do more videos. That That is really, I mean, I had know that technically doesn't do anything as far as directly impacting my manga collection, but my manga collection directly impacts me doing more videos. So I just want to do more videos. I want to be more consistent. I want to do a video a week, maybe two videos a week if I start including reviews. So I know that I'm, I did it. I said so again, but I know that on my channel, it's a lot of manga hauls. And then I do a couple of uh, reorgs. And then I've done like my Crunchyroll video where that was kind of like a manga haul as well. And I actually have another Crunchyroll video coming out because there's been some things that's kind of weird that I want to talk about, but I'm actually ordering something right now and I want to see how that goes because I may include that in my video. But look out for that video when it comes out. But yeah, I, I my manga collection directly impacts how many videos I make or what videos I make. And as, and as I said, I do all these other videos, but I want to do Beyond the Spines. I want to do reviews of specific series. I want to do more of that. I'm just scared because I was afraid that maybe you wouldn't be reciprocal of that or you wouldn't appreciate, not, not necessarily appreciate it, but you wouldn't, that's not what you want. And I'm not here to do, this is what I want, so therefore I'm gonna do it. No, I, I do it for y'all. The reason it's so fun is because of y'all. So who am I to kind of, disregard what your opinions are and just do what I want to do. When the whole joy I get out of it, the whole reason I do this is because I want to build a community and it's not really building much of a community if I'm like, here, take this, you're gonna like it. Now maybe the style in which I do a video, maybe the which uh, way I explain things, review things in my videos is up to me and it may not require your opinion that much, but the whole video, the whole premise, the way I carry the videos, God, that really kind of goes to you. It's it's for you. So whatever you want to do, I will make sure I do it because I'm telling you, you don't understand the joy I get doing these videos. And that all comes from the nice comments, the likes, the shares, all that from y'all. So I just really want to be able to just create more content. Right now, I can guarantee once a week, that's kind of my goal. That's why I put on the community post, like these are the videos I'm gonna do for the week. And I may find another medium of doing that. I know someone mentioned to me like, hey, maybe you should make it like another social media account, like Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, whatever the case may be. Discord has been a something else that has been recommended to me that I could do to keep you in the loop. Cause I don't think it's worth having a whole video of me explaining this is what I'm going to do this month. I, I maybe like you know it makes sense for like maybe quarterly and 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 in mid year and end of year that kind of makes sense. But just this is what I'm going to do for the next two weeks. Every couple of weeks, I don't I don't really see the point in that. If you want it, I'll do it. It's just you know I just don't expect those videos to do well. I don't expect you to really be entertained by those videos. Especially, it's almost like one of those things like at work you could be like that could have been an email. So it's like that could have just been a post. So. 
I'm trying to figure out the best way to relay that information to you about what I have planned for the channel. But yeah, overall, that's just what I want to do. I just want to make more videos, whether that's reviews or anything like that, because I am reading a lot, I am seeing a lot. Um, so if that sounds interesting to you, then let me know if so we can go ahead and do that. But I can guarantee you at least one video a week. I am having a baby in, in April, so that may slow things down just a tad bit, but I mean, I feel like if anything, it's just gonna make me read more. Not that I'm gonna have the downtime, but it's more like I won't be able to do all the crazy stuff like play video games and watch TV and all these things. Yeah, I will probably be more reading and watching the baby. Yeah, that's just kind of how I see it. The videos, I can guarantee you once a week, even when the baby comes once a week. Uh, these other videos, as far as the reviews and stuff, we'll see, I'll see how I can sprinkle them in because you know, I can only review stuff I've read. So it's, it's just gonna take some time to figure out a cadence on that. But anyway, that's it. I just wanna let you know, those are my manga collection goals for the year 2024. We will definitely do a video at the end of the year and see how far we have come. Once again, thank you so much for everything. I, I, I really, words can't express just how grateful I am for everything, whether that's you watched all my videos, whether you watched one of my videos, whether you watched five minutes of any video at words just can't explain how grateful i am for all of you so thank you so much and i hope you enjoyed the video and next week i don't remember what my video is going to be i know i wrote it down but it i hope you like that video i'm either going to release saturday or sunday it, that, that's one thing you can guarantee on as i said one video a week it will be either saturday or it'll be sunday i i don't know which day it, it's going to fluctuate but that's just going to be my promise to you is that i get you a video a week but thank you so much for watching and i'll see you guys next time Peace.